Weather Authority with meteorologist Julie Henricks. Well, this morning we are looking at areas of fog in many locations this morning. In some areas, the fog could be dense so you're going to want to use caution, especially before sunrise, which happens at about 6.30 this morning. Uh, we're looking, actually, this is south right now. Uh, you can see this is through the lens of the Graber Post Buildings Cam atop the hotel. We're looking uh, in a southerly direction. It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? As this sits atop the hotel there, we're looking down into the fog. And so take note, a dense fog advisory has been issued this morning as visibilities in some areas are really low. Now, again, not everybody's going to be in the thick of the dense fog, at least light fog for most folks, but visibility's down to next to nothing here in Crawfordsville, in Danville, Mattoon, a half mile, a quarter mile in Effingham. Some areas visibility is greater, but there's going to be low lying spots that you're going to drive through, even as things are fine and not necessarily dense. If you hit one of those low spots, fog could thicken for you pretty quickly. So you're going to want to be careful about that this morning. Now, temperature wise, it's a mild start out there at 58 in Crawfordsville, 59 in Paris. We've got 61 in Mattoon right now. Temperatures as we begin the day are mild. It's going to be another warm afternoon. We're going to have a lot of sunshine. Once this fog burns away, it's going to bring us uh, the chance for really warming up quickly today with all the sun that we're going to have. Now, out to the west of us, you'll start to see some clouds rolling into west sections of Missouri. That's ahead of a system that this morning we're going to also turn our attention toward because out across the plain states right now, this little piece of energy is going to try to continue to sneak eastward throughout the day today. And it may end up bringing a few isolated areas of rain in later tonight. Don't think it's going to be widespread by any means, but I do want to let you know there could be a little bit of rain later tonight rolling through. Futurecast actually does a good job of picking up on that possibility for us as we go through the late night hours, but then as again we get into the day on Friday, that all passes us by. Friday looks like it's going to be sunny, windy, and very warm. And then by later Friday night, here comes what we see, which is the leading edge of this boundary that's going to start to move in. Showers and thunderstorms are likely for Saturday, and a few of them actually could be on the strong side. Our temperature trend also telling the true story here of what's going to be that warm push of air coming in. Very warm on Friday, cooling us off noticeably by Sunday and into the start of next week, and even another dip in temperatures toward the end of next week. So as we look toward that important Memorial Day holiday weekend, we'll keep a close eye on what's going to happen. I do think things could be a little active next week, but if we can kick all of that energy out and start to build this ridge back, we could end up with a pretty decent Memorial Day weekend. That's way in the offing, so don't hold me to that right now. I'm just going to keep an eye on it for you. As for today, Today we are talking about a summer-like feel with an afternoon high of around 87 degrees. That, my friends, is wrong. It should say mostly sunny after a foggy start to the day. Now tonight, we could see a few areas of rain in the overnight. Again, I don't think it's going to be a lot to speak of, but some. And then tomorrow, windy and very warm. A high of 90 degrees, and with that abrupt temperature change from Saturday to Sunday, what that means is that we could get a few strong storms later on Saturday. We'll keep a close eye on the weekend for you.